Cotton is a particular crop that requires lots of time to grow and specialized equipment to harvest and transport. However, under the right conditions, profit can be high. Plus, there are several factories and a production chain that can be utilized to increase profit even more. This video will show you how to do all of that and be sure to stick around until the end for a bonus tip you won't want to miss. Hello and welcome to the Farm Bubba channel where we help you learn all you need to have fun in Farming Simulator 22. Be sure to check out the Farm Bubba channel homepage for more videos and while you're there you may as well subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified when a new video is posted. Time codes are listed in the description below where you can go back and replay a particular chapter of interest and please be sure and leave a comment to let us know what topics you would like to see in a future video. All right then, let's get going. Cotton is normally planted in the late winter. As we see on our crop calendar, we can plant cotton in either February or March and then harvest it around October and November. That's about eight months worth of growing time. In two of our previous videos, we've looked at soil preparation and planting crops. If you've not seen those two videos, be sure and go to our homepage channel and check those two out. To harvest and transport cotton, you need specialized pieces of equipment. Here in our vehicles menu, you see the cotton technology is where our harvesters are. There are two basic types of harvesters, one for square bales and one that'll produce round bales. The one that you choose is totally up to you. In our tools menu, there's also transport equipment specific for cotton. This particular trailer can be attached to a tractor. You must have a semi-truck in order to pull this trailer. This trailer will hold two bales, where the one towed by a tractor will only take one bale at a time. The cotton harvesters are self-propelled and they're auto-unloading, which means that they're sort of what I like to call set and forget. If you hire an AI worker and set him off on a task of harvesting, the machine will harvest the cotton, pack it down into a square bale, and unload it out the back. So the driver can just keep going, producing bales. Then all you have to do is go back later and pick the bales up. I would advise hiring an AI worker or two to do this, and then keep tabs on them so that as they produce bales, you can transport the bales to wherever you want. So let's go ahead and hop into this harvester. First thing we want to do is unfold it. Then we want to lower the header, turn the machine on, and all we do, just like with any other harvesting task, drive a straight line as possible. We're going to go ahead and hire an AI worker and let him go ahead harvesting. Let's go ahead and lease another machine and start him on the field too, since this harvesting process of cotton is a little slow. We can lease this machine for $24,735. We're going to go ahead and let him get started at the other end of the field. You can see that this harvester is traveling at a speed of about six miles per hour, which is pretty much in line with any other harvester harvesting any other crop. The big difference is that the header on this machine is much, much narrower, so he doesn't do as much work in one path. We'll give these two workers time to produce some bales, and in the meantime, let's look at some bale trailers. As we saw earlier, this big bale trailer will hold two bales, but it does require a semi-truck in order to pull it. This other bale trailer will only hold one bale at a time, but it's less expensive and you can pull it with one of your tractors that you already have. Not every map is set up to work cotton. This particular map does not have a production facility for cotton. Cotton production requires a factory known as a spinnery that can turn the cotton into fabric. There's also a tailor shop that can turn the fabric into clothes. Each time you move the cotton product through the production change, it increases in value. Of course, there are production costs associated with that, but in general, the more you can process this, the higher the profit margin. If you want to farm cotton and the map that you're working on does not have the production facilities you need, then you just need to find a place to build some. We're going to try doing that in this spot right here. First factory we need is the spinnery. It will turn our cotton into fabric. 
Second thing we need is the tailor shop, and it will turn our fabric into clothing. Now here's a little trick when placing the second factory here. You want to get the tailor shop's loading point right over the spawn area for the spinnery. Now you see you get a message that says overlaps with another object. All you have to do is override that and then you can place this factory. You see the little icon right there over the spawning point. That's where you want to place it. So when the spinnery produces a pallet of fabric, it'll automatically be loaded into the tailor shop. Once our workers produce some cotton bales, the next question is, what are we gonna do with those bales? Do we sell them outright? Do we store them for later use? Or can we put them in a production chain? First thing you can do is just sell your cotton. There are two places that'll buy your cotton right now for about $3,700 to $3,800 per thousand liters. You can also purchase the spinnery and turn your cotton bale into fabric. Or you can take the process a step further and buy the tailor shop and turn your fabric into clothing and then sell it. As you can see here, this worker is just about ready to unload a completed bale. He's almost at 100% and then he'll pause and unload that bale and then continue on. So we're going to go ahead and stop him now that he is completely finished and move him out of the way because the other driver is not going to hit the 100% and we want to see how to manually unload his bale. While the other AI worker is finishing out his bale, let's go ahead and load up this one. All we have to do is just get lined up with this other bale. Put the machine in the operating position and back up to it. and the bale will automatically load in. Return to the transport position and we can take this to the spinnery. Now if you have a rectangular field, it's easy enough for these AI workers to almost completely harvest all of the cotton. If you have an unusually shaped field, then you're gonna have to go back and clean up around the edges and finish the rest of the harvesting. So the field's completely harvested, but our worker did not get 100%, so he didn't automatically unload. All we have to do on our keyboard is hit our Y key, and he will unload the unfinished bale. Let's just move him out of the way and we'll go get our other trailer and we'll pick this bale up. Similar sort of an operation, but we don't want to put the trailer into its operating position until we get right up next to the bale. Otherwise, this trailer backs up a little squirrely. So let's get close to the bale here. Put it in the operating position. It'll load itself in. And we can take it to the spinnery also. Once we get over to the spinnery, all we have to do is unload the bale into the spinnery. Here we see in our production chain, our cotton is being changed into fabric in a 5 to 3 ratio. And what I'm going to do now is speed up time so that we can see this process played out. And our pallet is spawned and is immediately taken into the tailor shop. Here's that bonus tip I told you about at the beginning of the video. If you're on a map that has other cotton fields, what you can do is when these cotton fields are ready to harvest, all you have to do is go in and buy the field as long as you've got enough money. Then just lease your harvester, harvest the field, then sell the field back.
and do what you want with the cotton. Some people may say that is a cheat. I just call it a business opportunity. You buy and sell a field. So there you have it. Five things you need to know about harvesting cotton. When to plant and harvest the cotton. What type of equipment you're going to need. Whether you're going to lease it or purchase it. How to transport your cotton. And what you're going to do with it after you've harvested it. Well, that about wraps things up for this video. If you received value, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and ring the notification bell to be notified when a new video posts. Don't forget to leave a comment with any questions you may have and to let us know what topics you would like to see in a future video. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.